Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we're going to be going over the September 22nd, 2022 patch notes. Now, there's an exciting event going on right now that I'm pretty sure all of you know about, which is Congiversary. So let's go ahead and get right onto it, talking about these patch notes. So here we got a post from Dev Lime. It says, Bit Heroes turn six years old. Come join the celebrations. There will be special limited time Congiversary bundles in the shop for the next two weeks. Stardenex is here to celebrate with us this time. Find Congiversary coins across the game and exchange them with Sardinex for cool rewards. Daily bonuses are tri tri tripled for the next two weeks. The standard shop rotation is heavily discounted for the next two weeks as well. Raids are boosted this week, giving you up to 50% extra capture rate in Heroic. We've also doubled the chance of rare items epic and above on Trial Gauntlet for the next two weeks. The shop is giving up to 50% extra gems with gem purchases this week as well. There's a raffle event going on, which I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below so y'all can check that out. And there's also new fishing, PvP, and gauntlet um, events have begun, which we'll go over right now. So, currently, we have Popo's Invasion, and we also have Triple Drop GVG coming over next week. So let's go ahead and get on with the drops in the game. Give me one second. So we're going to go on with uh, the PvP, Invasion, Gauntlet, and Fishing Rewards. Then we'll go ahead and click on that Congiversary thing you see on the right side so I can go ahead and show you all the goodies in there. And then we'll also go over the shop. So to kick it off, let's go ahead and go to PvP. It seems like it's going to be a team of five this week, which will also carry on to Gauntlet. Now the rewards are going to be a pet reward chest. It's also going to come with the Component Cream critter jelly and mount guts now just know that it's going to be a very very competitive week especially because everything is boosted this week just know that trying to push anything in pvp might be a challenge so be careful if you're going to use all of your ticket rolls go ahead and go on to invasion check out the rewards we have a meta rune it's going to come with all the fragment types for the runes we have ancient fragment elemental fragment and rune fragments go ahead and go on to gauntlet got the rewards okay so the rewards are going to be the skeletal lining along with the regulators brain stems and micron chippos finish it off with fishing we have stat points along with critter jelly, seashells, and gems. That critter jelly is actually really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out this Congiversary tab over here. You can either come to town or click on the tab. I'm going to go to town so you can see where they're at in the town. Okay, so right over here, you should see him roaming around this, in his usual spot. He's kind of blocked by people. I'll let him walk over here right now. Give will come. Okay, we'll just go to him. Actually, we can click on this. It's fine. <clears throat> Happy 6th Congiversary Hero. Six years is a long time, but I'm just getting started. Ha 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 ha. That's great. <laughs> okay, so we have all these cosmetics. It seems like there's some old ones and a lot of new ones, which is great. This jelly cat looks super cool. I recommend you guys get that if you guys want to spend on cosmetics, of course. But yeah, that's pretty cool. We have a lot of cosmetics. I love getting the cosmetics in this, and I'm glad it's going to be around for two weeks, so that's great. Let's go ahead and check out other. So we have Regulators, Critter Jelly, Component Cream, Rune Fragments, Mount Guts, Stat Points, Major Item Find Scrolls, Major Experience Tombs, Major Gold Potions, Major Speed Kicks, a Bit Gore, only one, two Mythic Curios, 450 each of course, and Fleece, two as well. Now, it's pretty much the same as the last event. Everything I recommended there is what I recommend here. I'll go ahead and go over it real quick again. I recommend you skip all the cosmetics for now. If you're trying to be very um, very tight with your budget on the coins, you'll want to go for the Big Gore first because it's the only thing here in the whole entire thing that you really can't farm or get in-game just by playing. So you have to make sure you prioritize the Big Gore because you can only get one a month otherwise. So I would say Big Gore and then the Mythic Mats if you need them, which I'm pretty sure you do. And then I would recommend Mount Guts, 
pitter jelly or component cream depending on what you need more of mount guts is usually it <laughs> And then after that, it's entirely up to you. I like stacking up on all the item find and uh, experience tombs. So that's me. I never do the gold potions or the speed kicks unless I'm all out of stuff to buy. Um, I never need rune fragments, regulators either, but I always get them if I can. And stat points, that's really up to you. Some people are stat point junkies, I'm not. I always recommend saving the cosmetics for last unless you see one you really like. I really like this cupcake, so I might get that one. I also like red gummy bear, but I'm not sure yet it's on these. I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do. Um, there is a lot of stuff to buy this time, in my opinion, because there's just a lot of cosmetics, and some of them are kind of expensive. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the Congiversary side of things. Let's go ahead and check out the shop. So for the shop and featured, it looks here like we have a better flash sale going on again, which I really like. I wish this would go on a little more often. Um, I really hope they do implement that. But right now I have a legendary mount box and my flash sale for 240 gems versus the standard 300, which is nice. I recommend that if you guys see that. It's you also have this Congiversary satchel for one gold. I already purchased it myself. I got a little excited and purchased it. I was supposed to wait for the video. I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, you get all these goodies just for one gold. It's super easy, pretty much free. Um, we also have this legendary microprocessing stabilizing chip box, which I recommend against. I've always thought this is the worst box we have because none of this is worth 1600. This should be a 300 gem box at most. You always get these just by playing the game. There's no point in buying this box, period. Avoid it. Um, then we have the Legendary Adventure Bag, the Epic Adventure Bag, which I've gone over before. If you want to check them out, you can. Um, they have no boosts in them, sadly. They just have uh, materials to go ahead and farm. Or energy type, sorry. Then we have the Raid Push Pack. In my opinion, the Raid Push Pack is the best thing here. I really wish this came with a sun gore instead of a chicken gore, but it's still very, very nice, especially if you're hunting for those familiars. This is a great bundle. You're getting 10 shard baskets with 5 stat points and a chicken gore for 30 bucks. That is a steal. We also have the Congiversary bundle, which in my opinion is also a great bundle as well. Let's go ahead and go over the gore it comes with. It's called the Kongi Gore. Increases your item find, capture rate and experience by 750% and movement speed by 600% for four hours. Now, the thing about this is it's a very strong gore, but it has very little time to run it. It's pretty much like a boosted Odegore, which I like, but I kind of wish they involved um, gold find because gold is always a problem. So it's very unfortunate that they didn't add gold find to this gore. I don't know why they wouldn't to begin with, but it's kind of a bummer on this gore. Is it a good gore? Yes, um, but it's kind of lacking in my opinion. And there's no shards in this bundle either, so just keep that in mind. Do I recommend this bundle? Honestly, yeah. For what you're getting, it's not a bad deal. $30, you're getting pretty much what you would get in a $50 plus pack. It's worth it. Depending on how much you want to spend on the game, it's all up to you. Let's go and go on to some of the next things. Now, the weekly gem orb is $20 and you get 3k gems. I always recommend this. It's always a good deal. Go for it. We also have the event pack going on. It's going to be four um, ticket rolls, token duffels, and plaque of badges. So this is pretty good if you're looking to farm any event style things, which would be um, PvP invasion, expedition, gauntlet, stuff like that. Um, where you get rewards at the end for farming at the end of the weekly reset. This is great if you want to farm that stuff. Um, kind of wish it came with a better gore, like an Odegore or something, because you can run all this in an Odegore. But it comes with a bite gore, and that's fine. Um, hopefully they change this to a stronger gore, because these lower percentages are kind of not really being used only for regen for most players. So... Um, this is a great deal just for the resources alone, but... Um, you could do better in other areas. Like, I would prioritize the Congiversary bundle any day of the week over the event pack. You would only buy the event pack if you're wailing out and buying everything in the shop, and it would be one of your last options. Now, I've already gone over the adventure bag, so I'm just going to skip those. Um, okay, so the Ultra Chicken Lucky Ice Boost Sun Conky Box. Very long freaking name, but it's an amazing box. It's even better than it was before because now instead of having what it had last time, 
It has two more insane gores. It has an Ultra Gore and a Kongi Gore. Now that's awesome. More than half of this is well worth over a thousand gems, so go nuts. I recommend buying um, the weekly gem box and taking some spins, honestly. If you really like doing these kind of style gacha boxes, it's perfect. So this is a very, very nice deal. I wish they had this around more often. Even if they took off the Ultra Gore and the Kongi Gore and they kept it at 1K, it would be well worth. Even if they had it at the 1250 uh, price point, it would be well worth. I hope they bring this box around more often. It's very good for the community, especially the free to play scene. So everything else is pretty much going to be stuff like the standard stuff like Mega Defense Accessory Box and all that this week. It's just gonna be a little more discounted. Now that's what I recommend for today. Keep an eye out for more videos this week. I'm probably going to be going over everything in the shop throughout the week. They might be YouTube shorts just because they're going to be smaller videos. So please like and subscribe if you like any of the stuff going on. That way you don't miss any of the content throughout the week. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one. Peace.